Okay, so yeah. Namaste, love and light, everyone. So in the midst of me playing that singing bowl, I picked up that you guys have ray of light coming towards you. And I'm seeing a bunch. I saw a lot of light. You guys have a lot of light. And um, this karmic is like trying to alter your reality. Like alter you. Like change you. All right. From like I'm getting internal changes from the inside out. They want to change you so you won't, you know, believe in your light. So you won't be activated. Okay. And I'm getting this person is not connected with light. At least not the way that they think they are or how they thought that they were. Like, they probably thought they was like you, but they're realizing that they're not. And they know they're not subconsciously. Okay? Which explains everything. They're trying to block this reading, honestly. Whoever this karmic energy is, they're trying to block this reading. They're, like, really mad that this energy is coming out. And they're, like, trying to block, you know... It's like they're trying to block me from bringing this message out. I'm feeling like like a blocker on my face. Like, trying to block my, my face my image i guess me <laughs> i don't know but um i don't know i know that don't make sense but that's what i'm getting block my face like block people from watching me that's probably what it is <laughs> and i'm not showing my face so whatever so which one i'm gonna do today let's see i feel like i'm gonna read this one all right, no, 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 I want to do this one. All right, so what I'm picking up is, and I'm feeling it like they're really trying to mess up your energy, y'all. Like, they're really trying to, the same karmic energy, the same karmic energy is trying to, like, mess up and confuse you. All right, but the download I picked up today was they are messing with your intuition because they feel like you are weak. They want you to look at yourself as weak because they know how strong you are. Basically, they are doing spell work to keep you hidden from certain gifts because they are afraid of you tapping into your full power. Spirit did laugh while I was typing this because this because it's funny how they think they are going to tear you down. But what's not funny is what they are doing to you, the lies and the false assumptions. All right, and I'm feeling guided to use my what's the T oracle. It's been a while. It's a bit dusty, y'all. I feel like this karmic is dusty. The ancestors look at them as dusty. I feel like the ancestors then looked at them as dusty. And I'm getting the ancestors like whatever. Okay. Whatever energy that this karmic had from the ancestors, I'm getting that energy is like removed. This could have been a karmic that reads tarot, that's into spirituality. Okay. I'm getting they trying to keep themselves hidden. They really, they're like working really hard to keep themselves hidden. But this is like a, a spiritualist, somebody that is like into spirituality. And all the power and knowledge and wisdom that spirit once gave them, I feel like it's gone. I feel like spirit gave this karmic a lot of knowledge at one point, but they were utilizing the knowledge spirit gave them to manipulate others. So spirit took that knowledge away, and they're mad about it. You know, this have nothing to do with y'all. This really don't, but somehow this karmic is trying to make, you know, their problems in their life about you. And that could be the reason why they are messing with your intuition. Okay, and they're, and they're trying to, you know, stop you from knowing what's going on. But what's really going on is that this karmic is going down here. And they're, like, obsessing. Let's get one card. Yeah, divination abuse. And I was feeling it. This karmic is definitely trying to stop me from doing this reading. This karmic is trying to stop me from doing this reading. They are abusing divination on you. They are abusing divination and they're using it on you here. This person is about to lose everything. All right? If they still got what they, their possessions, just know they're going to be losing it in their future. I'm telling you guys this. And it's like they be saying things like, I feel, you know, I, like this, they will watch you. Just like how, you know, a karmic could be watching me. They will watch you. All right? And then they'll be like, oh, my God, I feel you doing this to me. I feel you doing that to me. I can just feel it. And it's not true. Hold on, y'all. This karmic is a huge distraction. They could be like a crybaby right now. Mad because they ain't getting what they want and mad because they're not getting their way. Hold on. Also just told me right now, because I pick up downloads, you know, while I'm in this energy, while I'm tapped in, even if I walk away from my desk. And Spirit told me that this karmic is attacking other readers okay and they're trying to say that you are attacking other readers so you guys can definitely be in the spiritual community hence why you're watching tarot reading these could be other people 
that is either following you in the spiritual community and they're following you like on purpose to like you know antagonize you these could be stalkers gang stalkers and stuff they are attacking you and other readers because you know i'm getting they feel attacked themselves and i feel like it's their own attacks and their own mind messing with them all right so this is like somebody that goes around and accuse other spiritual people of attacking them because you know and I'm getting the reason why they're doing this because they're not spiritual. All right, this could have been somebody that was like, you know, a Christian and they jumped into spirituality because, you know, it was working for them at one point, but it's not their life purpose. And this could be someone that, you know, chooses to, you know, come up against real chosen beings. Yeah, this is a karmic that, you know, it's attacking chosen beings. You, collective. I'm here. You are part of the collective, this chosen collective here, not this karmic. If you guys are on the platform, all right, whether it's big or small, they're definitely following you and posing to be like your collective here. Just to antagonize you, you know, to spy on you and to like be attached to your energy so their spell work can like be attached to you. What this karmic is doing is wrong and it's, it's pretty much illegal because it is stalking. It's, this is what be, you know, called or classified as stalking, a form of stalking. All right, I'm getting this karmic is like manifesting all this energy for themselves and a lot of this stuff that they said you know I, yeah spirit is saying a lot of the energy that they're conjuring up is sh is shit that they said too through their throat chakra not just with spell work all right so it's like it's the lies and false assumptions and the things that they said they're going to do to you that's also backfiring It's like if you guys are on a platform, they're like watching you, trying to figure you out and trying to see who you're talking about or if like any of your posts are like targeting them or trying to like, sig if you're trying to like signal their energy or trigger their energy through like a post or something like that. Okay, like yeah, they're like heavily watching your posts here, watching your statuses, your stories. I'm even getting messages. For some of you guys, this karmic was tapped into your messages. They like knew the password. All right, to your um, to your phone. All right, or to your social media. All right, I'm getting like a lock that's unlocked. Like they could have unlocked your passwords through your phone and it was tapped into your social media account. Okay, because you know Apple has that passwords feature. You guys are like glamorous. This karmic is like jealous of you because you compared to them is like your energy is better and it's like you attract better. This karmic could be insecure because they may feel like, you know, you um, you want their man or something like that. No. I feel like, honestly, it has nothing to do with that either. But they're, like, trying to throw that, you know, false assumption out there. All right? Trying to, you know, say that you want their man secretly or you're low-key looking at their man. Like, this is a, a, a wretched karmic. They're wretched. Ratchet, wretched. Yeah. What is this? The five of this is their energy right now. Ever since you you disconnected from their energy, you walked away. They have just been and been in lack. All right, it's like they lack energy. They lack energy. Okay, give me one second, you guys. getting emergency like this is an emergency that's what i'm hearing because they are doing like deep and heavy like sacrifice rituals and like dark rituals and i'm getting deep i don't know why i'm getting deep here it's like they're oh it's like the more they do spell work, the more they, they dig themselves into a deeper hole they're digging themselves into their own rabbit hole about you it's like their mind is entangled with like you like your name like your name is all entangled in their mind yeah yeah sos this karmic needs help all right because they it's like i'm what i'm getting they, they once had a happy family 
but it's not there anymore, all right? So this karmic could be someone who you had a family with. This could be, you know, your family, you disconnected from it, you know, this toxic family, and they, like, miss old times that y'all shared. This karmic could be, you know, in, you know, infliction. They are inflicting a lot of their pain, but they could be reflecting on the type of family they once had, and they're comparing that to you, and they're trying to say, oh, I once had a family, but now it's gone because, you know, because of whatever happened between y'all two. And they literally was, like, leeching off of your energy. And the moment you disconnected from it, you get what I'm saying? Now they want to say, you know, everything that they're going through is your fault. And it's not your fault. It's their fault. They don't want to admit to it. And if you guys read cards, they're trying to block you from reading your cards. But, yeah, divination abuser, like I told y'all, they stalking you from fake accounts, fake, so fake social media accounts, all right, to spy. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. They're fake. They was always a fake friend. Always fake with their energy from the beginning. If this wasn't a friend, this could have been a lover. They was always fake or two-faced or they just wasn't honest. All right? They may feel like they wasn't what they were. It's like the reason why they don't feel like they were fake is because they're used to being this way. It took for them to meet someone like you to teach them like being this way is wrong. It took for them to meet you to teach to teach them that utilizing magic against anyone is wrong. And you're too busy winning. You're not focused on them. They're lonely. I'm telling you. And they're crying over you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I didn't say they were cry, baby. That's why they were trying to block this message. Because they don't want y'all to know that they are down and out right now. And, and they don't want you to know that they're creeping. They don't want no one to know. They don't want the whole. They, I'm getting, they don't want the whole collective to know that they're doing this. I'm getting this karma could be trying to block the entire collective. Your entire collective, for some of you guys, they're trying to block your collective from knowing and seeing the truth about you, all right? The truth, the real truth, the real you, all right? That's why they're spying and creeping to see if their spells is working, but everyone is unfazed. You collective is unfazed, your collective is unfazed, my collective is unfazed. This karmic try to call child services on you. For some of you guys, they try to manifest that with magic. And they're hearing a lot of thoughts in their head. They're trying to say it's you, like you're doing this, but it's not you. They was the one that was trying to mess with your subconscious. And I'm getting that spell finally backfired on them, and now they can't take it. I'm getting they can't take the heat. So they're trying to, like, bully you again. For some of you guys, this is someone online bullying you. All right, and they're fed up with whatever they're going through, so they're trying to put it on you. All right, again, I'm hearing. It's like this karmic can't take the heat. They can't take the heat here. They were stealing your energy with this creativity mantra. This was the tea. That this this the tea was this karmic was stressing out saying how you stressing them out because you still in their energy. You're stressing their crown because you're still in their energy. You're still in their creativity, their ideas. And this is what they was doing, and it did not work. They spell to block your creativity and your magic from your crown worked on them. They don't want to admit to that. Some of you guys are Israelites. All right, I just picked that up. This karmic could be an Israelite or comparing themselves to an Israelite. All right, could, could be comparing themselves to Christ. Like, they up there with Christ. They're delusional. They don't want to admit that they're delusional. They're trying to say, if I'm delusional, then you're delusional because, you know, you're the one that's picking up on this energy. Like, I don't, what they talking about? They're the one that's stirring up the energy. They're the one that's, cut, you know, concocting, wait, concocting the energy? <laughs> they're the one that's stirring it up, creating the energy. And then when it backfires, or when you pick up on it, they want to say that it's you that's crazy. Okay, everything is bouncing back on them. All right, backfiring on a person who sent the energy. This person is in secret competition with you guys. Y'all know it. They stale. I feel the energy. They stale. The energy is stale towards you and everybody else who loves you and shows you love. Because, listen, they cop blocking your energy. They're trying to cop block you. Cop, cop block you from moving forward in your life. Trying to cop block love from coming into your life. Trying to cop block your happiness. All right, because they're facing and suffering from nightmares and they're trying to blame it on you. And it ain't you because you ignoring them. I feel like they're going through a lot because someone in their life or something in their life right now is blocked here. And, you know, if it's a person, and this could be you now. They could be mad because you're ignoring them. But I'm, for some of you guys, I'm feeling another energy pulling on them. All right, another outsider that they probably don't want to. They, that they're not. Okay, this is what Spirit is saying. They're being, like, triggered by someone else. Is energy that is like really bothering them, but they don't want to put it on them. They want to say it's you. Y'all may know who it is. I just got a mom. For some of you guys, it's like a lover that they're trying to keep secret or trying to keep the, the relationship status with this lover a secret who they're with. All right? And I just heard a third party. Y'all know who it's for. Okay? What I'm picking up... Damn, I lost that download. Oh, yeah. What I'm picking up is that they don't want to tell people that they're really bothered because of this other outside energy. They want to say it's because of you. 
They, and I'm getting they have a nightmares of you because it was pulling on your energy, y'all. This karma just have to accept that they did spell work on you and there's nothing that they can do to stop them from receiving backlash. That's just what it is. Their energy is real dark. Their energy is real dark, you guys, because it was abusing divination. It was abusing divination. They all in their head over you, how you are unbothered. That is the tea with this karmic. They are all in their head about you right now, overthinking, overstressing. Over analyzing, all right, because you are unbothered and you're about to be successful. You can feel it and they can feel it. They can feel it right now. Why are they thinking about you? They like, oh, how you be so unbothered and be so, you know, successful while I'm sitting here stressed. Well, they should have never did whatever they did. Whatever action they partake in, they should have declined it or, you know, chose the higher road, the better route. But they chose to do the, the you know, the regular, regular, typical karmic move. They was holding the grudge behind you, behind your back. They standing behind your back holding a grudge. And this is why they still following you. All right, I'm getting standing behind your back because they're like spiritually behind your back trying to attack you, but they can't because you're shielded. All right, yeah, it's like they're like a ghost, all right? I'm, that's what I'm getting. They're like a ghost hovering over you. You may be feeling their energy. That's how you feel it because they're hovering over you. They could be trying to play with astral projection, astral travel. Well, they're showing up as a ghost, so, you know, are they proud that they're coming up as a ghost? <laughs> All right, looking you up. I'm getting they trying to look you up through astral travels, trying to find you, trying to trying to find your spirit through astral travel. All right, and damn, I'm, I'm gonna save that for another reading. All right, that download I just pick up. Same shit. It's the same shit, different day with this karma. They're not changing it. They're not. They're not learning their lesson. They're trying to say it's you not. That's not learning your lesson, but it's that's false. It's them that's not learning their lesson. Okay. They want your higher self, I'm getting. Get out of there, Mino. Yeah. Whatever, okay, 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 never mind. I'm gonna just save that for another download, you guys. You just gotta keep it juicy. You see, and I feel like this karmic is also confused. For a lot of you guys, if you're on the platform, you're on social media. All right, where it's like, you know, you receive views, likes, comments, shares. They're doing spell work to manipulate those numbers. Now, they're confused because it's like a part of them is like, well, you know, your numbers could have dropped or, you know, it's not looking how it used to be. So, they're like, it could be working. But also, uh, you know, another side of them is feeling that you still going to receive your blessings. They could even be having dreams of your blessings. That could be the nightmares. If them is them seeing you with your blessings. Okay, and of course, they waking up thinking that that's a sign that you're still in their blessings. That's stupid. Okay, but anyway, like I was saying, you know, Spirit is saying the reason why they're, it's confusing them is because their spells aren't working. Whatever drought or, you know, hardship you're going through right, right now, whatever you think is like poverty, whatever poverty, you know, because I'm getting like you looking at something, like maybe your business, your money, it's like it's poverty based right now. Spirit is saying, you know, it's like that because that's just the energy that you're in. It's not because what this karmic is doing. Now, this karmic, you know, the shit that they're trying to put you through, you know, and the emotions that is, you know, that is being, it's like the emotions I'm getting. The emotions that you're in from them pulling your energy could be bringing you down, but that's only because you are choosing to be stuck in that energy. You need to get yourself out of that energy. Okay, by doing better. All right. If you feel like your business is still the same and you want new, you want more, switch up. The energy in your business, creating new content, come up with new ideas. It's like I'm getting new creativity, and I'm hearing new creative. It's like you could be a new creator, and this could be an old creator attacking you because it's like their energy is old and stale, like I said. All right? And you're new. They probably didn't think you would know that they're attacking you. All right? Their energy is just the, the, um, the same here. And your energy is the, is the same. Your light irritating their damn demons. Their, part of their demons is, is, is a drama starter. It's like... 
I'm seeing one of them, their, one of them, their parts of themselves, if you want to say one of their higher self or their soul parts. You know, it's it, it looks just like this, a, a clown, a queen clown here. <laughs> all right? Because this is all she do or he do is just start drama. And y'all know the, the evil queen from Alice in Wonderland? I'm getting this person, especially if it's a feminine, she's equivalent to this queen, and she's kind of, like, dressed up like her with the makeup and stuff. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. And, you know, she's wicked, and that queen is also delusional. This could be, like, I'm getting this karmic is, like, the queen of delusion here. Like, they rule delusion. Like, this karmic knows how to put you in a delusional state of mind. Is And they could be playing with a lot of illusion spells, and I feel like, you know... They are made up of their spell work. That's what I'm getting. So that's why Spirit is saying they're the queen of delusion. Because since they play with a lot of illusion spells, now they're delusional. They know a lot about illusion spells. But it's like, that is what's keeping them trapped. In, you know, mentally entrapped here. And they're trying to blame it on you. I mean, I'm about to put you on my bed. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't have no room. Yeah, I don't see it, but I don't have no space. But so, so we're going to clarify these cards. Yeah, I feel like y'all gave this karmic money. Or oh, they could be trying to like, you know, I'm getting you could have gave them money. They could have gave you money. And they're trying to throw up in your in your face and other people's faces how, you know, they helped you. But they're not mentioning how you helped them in return. It was a balanced act, okay? It wasn't like you took from them and, and that was it. This comment may even be feeling like suicidal, feeling like they're going to pass. But like, it's because of their spell work. Alright, they, they're like blocked in this energy and it's... I'm not blocked. I'm sorry. There's a block which is keeping them stuck in this dark energy and this karmic energy because they need to face themselves. They need to face the fact that they are a karmic and they always been a karmic and they never really healed. Not the way that they think they did. This is their energy. They over here butt hurt mad because they lost something and they're rejected from getting it back. And you and others have this new um opportunity. This Ace of Pentacles. This could be money. But I'm getting this opportunity to make money, to be Whoa. successful. This could be your life purpose, your destiny. They missed out on that. So now they mad at you and everyone else because you have it. And look, I'm trying to be sneaky in your energy to take it. The, the, the thing is what they're doing is like, the sneaky thing that what they're doing is trying to block you. They're, they're behind your back being sneaky trying to block you. All right. And they're doing it so you won't know. I keep getting that. They keep thinking that you're not going to know. That's the problem. They keep thinking that you're not going to know, but you're going to know. And this is what's causing them heartache. The fact that your intuition tells you because they get in, like, their ego and be like, oh, my God, my intuition was wrong and my spell didn't work. I mean, they're not doing righteous. So what do they expect? All right, Dana, come. Come on, Mommy, bed. Yeah, daydream. This karmic, they think about you a lot, even in their daydreams here. Why is divination abuser here? This karmic is a divination abuser. And they did not want this to come out. Yeah, they're trying to stagnate and, and, and put a, put it put it to an end and put to a halt your intuition. Put that to an end and to a halt. Like, stop your intuition. Block your intuition. All right? You know, make your intuitive gifts and abilities come to an end and even trying to block and stagnate your dreams. All right, it, they're like trying to pin you out to be at to be this devil. All right, this she devil here. <laughs> it's funny I call the karmic a she devil. All right, and they're trying to make it seem like you're not intuitive, like you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know what you're feeling because you could have, you know, called this karmic out, karmic out for what they're doing, and people, you know, could have listened, could be thinking like maybe they are doing it. So they're trying to convince others that no, your intuition is wrong. Don't believe you. Only believe them. Yeah, they're definitely teaming up and working with others, and it's these same people who they're teaming up working against are the ones that is watching you and also and questioning this karmic. Like, are they really t t telling the truth? Are they really crazy? Are they really crazy about you? Like, yes, they really are. Okay? They really are. They, I mean, they were trying to block me from doing this reading for Crown Out Loud. Like, yeah, I feel like with this hermit, they're still searching. They're, they're still soul searching. And I'm getting loading. They're still, like, downloading integrating it's like they're still doing they're still downloading in their like their shadow i don't know what that means by because hold on please amina stop if you, you're low-key distracting me stop here take the um the crystals all right thank you spirit they're still loading okay and 
with that loading, I'm getting shadow work. They still need to do the shadow work necessary. That and they and the reason why they haven't found their purpose yet is because they are they still need to do the shadow work. They haven't evolved into light yet. I'm getting they just jumped into whatever it is that they're doing. Rather spirituality, all right, or you you guys are both creator, you guys both create content, all right, or this could be a friend, family. You know, they just jumped into it. They was not called. All right, they just jumped in. They feel like they was called because probably when they did tap into it or whatever, you know, it is that they do, their craft, it worked for them. Like I said earlier, it worked for them, but it stopped because they were still in their shadow. All right, so again, when they jumped into whatever it is that they're doing now, okay, or were, because they're most likely going to stop soon, okay, just like how they're going to stop doing spells soon, we're praying for that. We're aiming for that. But for the most part, you know, this is why. We, what do I say? <laughs> What was I saying? Okay, with the loading. Oh, yeah, and it worked for them, but it wasn't called for them. Okay, so this is why, you know, things is not working out for them now. There we go. This is why it's not working out for them now. It's a top to a candy. Yeah, and a lot of this stuff could already happen in the past. This karmic is a part of your past energy, and they're still after you. You coming up as a star. All right, because you are healing, and you're in your... um. You're in your healing energy. Yeah, you're activated in your healing energy. I see it. It's coming over, like, coming out of you. Like, your essence is healing. And this is also your destiny, okay? You're locked in your destiny here. And a lot of you guys could have found um, your divine counterpart. No, Mina, you can't come up here. Get down. Because you, you distracted me, girl. You distracted me. This could be a Virgo. Or well, yeah, I could be dealing with one. You could be a... Um, a Virgo here. Yeah, this situation is coming to an end. Point blank period, whether they like it or not. I'm getting spirit is just about to, you know, quantum ta quantum jump to another timeline. The timeline of, you know, where this karmic is trying to like take you, like take you down, create this timeline for you. So you could will be destroyed. Okay, all these bad things will happen to you. That's what they're doing with this spell work. Spirit is about to quantum jump to that timeline and destroy it. All right. And I'm getting destroyed for themselves. And it's like spirit is going to make them think that they did this to themselves because they did. They should not be doing it. This is why divine intervention is coming in. The divine is intervening, all right, and destroying it because it's not supposed to manifest. This karmic is crazy. They they simply don't want to accept the fact that they have to learn a lesson. They have to learn a lesson. Their death spells are coming to an end. Their spells to end you and end, end, end everything is coming to an end. This is why they are confused. All right, because a part of them is thinking that it's working, but also another part of them is feeling that your blessings are still coming. It's because spirit is low key destroying their spell work since they feel like they low key doing this stuff. Well, spirit is low key destroying their spells. All right, Scorpio energy here, Leo energy here. Yeah, but the sun is like you illuminated to it. You know, God gave you the clarity necessary. You don't need this karmic, you know, energy to tell you the truth. You know the truth through God and through spirit. All right, and your shadow also let you know what's going on. Give you heed to the warning here. Your shadow lets you know when, when something is wrong, not just your higher self. And if you are in tune with both your shadow and your higher self, you would know that. It's always good to build, I'm getting personality, like build a bond with your shadow. Get to know your shadow. Who is your shadow? That's important because your shadow is also going to help you waking up. It's going to help you wake up and become enlightened. Enlightened into light. What direction you need to go you know, down or, you know, head towards to reach that light. You can trust your shadow. A lot of people don't want to trust their shadow, but you you in that every day, okay? If you don't trust your shadow, you don't trust yourself. And I feel like you guys do trust yourself. It's this karmic that don't. You do trust your intuition. I'm getting that with the page of cups. You trust your spirit with the um, ace of cups. You trust your intuitive gifts, all right? You trust your support from spirit, all right? Th with this, thanks for your support. It's the support that stands out for me. That support is your spirit team. These four guardian angels, they're protecting you and they and they support you, all right? It's this karmic that is thinking like, hmm, am I intuitive like you? Am I that spiritual? You know, am I really blocked? You know, what's going on in my life? I'm just confused. It's their spell work. I feel like they know the truth, but they're trying to deny it. They're trying to hold it back with the four pentacles and put the shit on you. And I'm getting, bless you, they, they're, if you are into spirituality, if you're a spiritualist, a future spiritualist, they're trying to block you from spirit, and that's karma. That's wrong. And all parties that's, that was involved are being deemed as wrong, and I'm getting party officials. Like, this got official. Like, the spiritual officials, the spiritual authorities got involved, intervened.
divine intervention. Why is fake smiles here? I'm getting fake people. You have fake people working against you behind your back with this eight of pentacles. I'm getting they were working against you. It was fake. And they had you thinking they were working for you. And it was all for you. Team you, team you. And they wasn't team you. It was team themselves. Okay? And I feel like with this eight of wands... Some energy came to you through a download, all right, which let you know what this karmic was doing to you. I feel like this karmic can't understand and, and they can't fathom how you know. So they're trying to cloak themselves, but it's through a download. It's through a message. It's through intuition. All right, spirit let you know what energy was coming towards you because this karmic was trying to send you an ending. You don't deserve to know that. It's your time to shine, though, divine feminines and masculines, and that is what they don't want you to be in, that spotlight shining energy. A lot of people just want to have to have to accept who you are. This karmic still haven't accepted it yet, and that's why they're trying to still stir up drama and conflict and confusion. Let's see. Tell me more about the fake smiles. Yeah, they a tower. Their own spells that they're creating to work against you is causing them a tower in their life. It's blowing them up. Boom. Period. Point blank. And it's and it's slowing them down. I'm seeing a huge crack in their road right in front of them, and it's slowing them down. They are the Knight of Pentacles. That's their judgment. That's their faith. That's their karma. All right? And they're trying to block your faith and your karma here, and, and it's God say so. This is a judge. God is a judge. God judged this karmic, and he written down. He, he wrote up a contract for this karmic to keep them trapped and stuck and entrapped. So they can be so they can stay away from you. This entrapment is to keep them away from you. Because remember, everything bad that's going on in their life is because of you. So God had to write up a contract to keep them away from you. And this is why they're going batshit crazy in their mind because they can't figure out, oh my god, I thought it was you. I thought it was you. And like, it's not you, it's them. And they realize this shit and they don't want to take accountability. Okay, but God is gonna make them do it. Alright, or they're gonna be put to rest, straight up and down. They already being put to rest, so I don't understand. All right, God is calling me to use these cards. So let's see. Yeah, wow, no more waiting. God said no more waiting for you, and this karmic is trying to make you wait. It's because they're stuck in waiting energy because I'm getting waning gibbous. This karmic could be utilizing, like, the moon cycles on you, but F that. You guys, you know, get in tune with the moon cycles. Utilize Mother Moon's magic to keep you blessed and covered and, and protected because I'm seeing the moonlight, you know, shining over you. And it's healing. It, it lights you up. It activates you. Keep utilizing the moon magic for your highest good. To act, to, to keep you activated, yes. But to open up those doors for you. Utilize the moon magic to open up the doors for you. Because this karmic is utilizing the moon magic to close doors. To use Papa Legba to close doors. That's what I'm picking up. But God said you shall wait no more. The spirits are saying you shall wait no more. This karmic is feeling blue because you're, you can't wait no more. And they want you to wait. That's the energy that they're in right now. Trying to block you from, you know, their energy. And you're not even trying to, you know, be in it. You just feel what's going on, all right, from the, them tapping into you. So you want to feel their energy. And you know what's going on by these reads that you watch, which is why they're trying to block me, all right, because they don't want you to know. Loosen your grip, karmic. God is talking to the karmic. This is why they feel down and low and blue as well, because God is judging them. God is making them contemplate. And God is telling the karmic to loosen your grip. Find other coping mechanisms, uh, you know, besides blaming others for your issues, because that's a toxic co coping mechanism, to blame others for your issues. Okay? And focus on your destiny. If you're not aligned with your destiny, how about you utilize the car the cosmos karmic to, you know, align yourself with your destiny? But a lot of karmics don't want to do that because they know that alignment is going to guide them to do work. They don't want to do shadow work. They don't want to heal because it's going to bring up a lot of shit that they buried, that they don't want to face anymore. All right? And reburying it, reburying it is not going to heal it. All right? Especially if you still are you know attached to, the, to that attachment that you bury because we we can bury it but we still are attached to those emotions and that trauma and that trauma and that emotion is going to make us act a certain way that's what that's going to keep us childish mean and sour hearted all right you have to forgive it you gotta let it go this karmic has an addiction addiction to you this karmic needs to choose to let god in instead of opposing god because god is choosing you in the end of, you know and not them it's not a race and it's not a competition. It's about, you know, waking up to who you are and doing the proper work so you can reach your peak. 
It's not about when others reach their peak. This karmic is very childish, and I'm getting they did not want to get out that energy of, you know, letting you go. They wanted to keep attacking you. They wanted to keep antagonizing you with spell work and wordplay. Okay, that's what they wanted to do. Let's get one more. Three is like a lucky number for y'all right now. That's what I'm getting. The initiation. All of this is your initiation, like we said in my last read. All right, rite of passage. You guys, you guys are going through a rite of passage with your ancestors. Your ancestors are putting you through this for a reason. To teach you about your powers and your gifts. To activate you and your powers and your gifts. And to show you how powerful you are. Them trying to, you know, take you down and pull you down that crap bucket. Should show you how powerful you are. Rather, it's hidden or, or in plain sight. That should show you. All right, you are crossing the thresholds. Regardless if this karma try to say you stupid, dumb, you don't make sense, blah, blah, blah. You still crossing that, that threshold. That crossing of the thresholds is you passing God's test. God passed you, not this karmic. You don't need this karmic validation. All right, who, who are they? Hold on. Yeah, who are they? they they're nobody. Yeah, you guys are crossing the threshold. Threshold means, I looked it up just to be sure, and it says the magnitude or intensity that must be exceeded for a certain reaction, phenomenon, or result, or condition to occur to be man or to be manifested. So you guys had to like, you know, exceed what it says that must be exceeded for a certain react. But that exceed I'm getting reaction. It's like you guys that I receive uh, exceed in, in reaction is giving me like your shadow work. It's like you completed the necessary shadow work that is needed. And now you're ready to go. Yeah. So it's like I'm getting this had to happen first as well. This had to happen... All right, in the beginning of your journey, or how how long it was for your journey, how all how long it's been, all right, along your journey, how long it's been for you, all right. I'm getting this had to happen in order for you, you know, to receive and to get to where you where where you want to be. And I'm getting to get you where you are now. Because I'm getting you on the road now. So it's like you guys, as you're fighting, you're still heading towards this new beginning that we've been talking about. But you had to go through this to receive your reward. To receive that blessing. Alright, to receive us on the other side. And we've been talking about it. We've been talking about it, right? So it's like, you know, you was going to receive it regardless. But you, a lot of you guys just didn't know when and how. Okay, and a lot of you guys just didn't understand what you was going through. It was confusing you yourself because you was feeling a lot of this karmic energy. And they're trying to say, you know, it's not them, it's you. And it's like, you guys understand whatever you're feeling, as far as like intensity, it's like, like you know, feeling someone's emotions at an intense rate, a high rate here. Understand it's not you, it's them. Okay, you are the real and they are the fake. So the same way how they're sitting at home saying, no, it's not them with their cra crazy twisted mind. It's you messing with their head. Okay. We all know that's not true. All right. It's really you feeling their emotions. All right. It's not you really feeling this way. And it's really them feeling that way. It's not you. They're just pulling all your emotions here, okay? And you're feeling it. But, like, this karmic is, like, really confused. Like I was saying. They need to clear their crown. But let's go into um fake accounts, you guys. Let's go into fake accounts. All right. Wow. Yeah. 
this karmic is not faithful. This could have been a lover. They are not faithful here. All right? And I feel like y'all dealing with, like, karmics that are brokenhearted. Y'all could be dealing with, like, a, bu like a bunch of women, jealous women that got their heart broken by men. And it's, like, now they're sour. And they're, and they're sour towards anyone that is better, better than them. Sour towards anyone that's in a higher light than them. A higher vibration. But what these karmics is doing is not righteous. Even spying on you from a fake account is not righteous. Higher fan reverse would be something that's not righteous. Something that's not, you know, righteously ordained. So them trying to, like, you know, place themselves in your life is not ordained and not meant to be in your life. Taurus energy, yeah, this could have been someone who you was connected with. They're trying to reconnect with you through spying on you um, through fake accounts, on fake accounts, spying on you on fake accounts, and it's not working. You know, it's not righteous, I mean. It's not righteous, not that it's not working. Hold on. Yeah, they I feel like they honestly want to stay connected with you if this is a lover, you know, for your finances. Even um, if these are like a group of women, people in competition with you, they just want to stay attached to your energy so they can keep pulling from it and, and gain. Yeah. Taurus energy here. All right. And we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah. It's like I said earlier, ever since you walked away from this karmic, all right, they just. <sighs> y'all, ever since y'all walked away from this karmic, they just been trying to confuse you. And make you feel like you are the one that is not faithful. You was not righteous. You was not all these things. And it was them. And it was them that was doing it. And they felt like it was righteous to do all these things to you. All right. They feel like they had the right of way to do it. And they did not have the right of way. They broke a, a law. A spiritual law. I had to pause there for a moment. Because I felt the confusion, y'all. I did. A, a lot of these karmics are playing with confusion spells. And this is why they are confused. And I'm feeling it. Ever since you walked away, they've been confusing you. Because they can't pull on you anymore. Alright? This is a masculine energy here. Tell me more. Yeah, you moved on. Waiting for your new cycle to come about. Your new love opportunity. For a lot of you guys, y'all already in union. And you're waiting for your person to travel towards you. Or you travel to them. Waiting to reconcile with them in the 3D. In the physical. But I'm feeling... What I'm seeing and feeling is that y'all walked away and y'all waiting for new. And this karmic is mad because they're stuck in that energy that they put themselves in long ago. Months, years ago. Alright, yeah, you're, you're heading towards happiness. This is your focus, your ten of cups. Alright, and they are watching you in competition. You see how he's watching? He's watching you in, in, in aggressive energy and in, in competitive energy and jealous energy like... I got to have more than what you have, and I got to get it now before you get it. All right, I got to pretty much, you know, if this is an ex, they're saying I got to get into a new relationship. I got to get married. got to have, you know, another baby before you do. You know, it's all com competition. I got to prove that I'm more happier than you. And I'm spirit to say this is all online. A lot of you guys are being stalked online here. Remember I said social media is, is like a hub, a virtual hub? Well, it is. That's where a bunch of souls and spirits meet up, you know? Yeah. I mean, you on that phone? Mm -hmm. You're connecting with that person. Um, essence. That's why these karmics feel like staying in touch in touch with you, staying connected with you through social media, spying on your page, you know, your channel, Instagram, whatever. They feel like you know that is one way to keep you connected, and that's one way for their spells to work. A lot of you guys, I'm getting they're just trying to like shut your business down, shut down your website, shut down your pages, and they do a picture magic to just shut it down. They better hope that don't happen to them. All right, but all in all, like I said, these karmas are mad because you moved on. I'm sorry if I keep saying it, but that's just what it is. They're really trying to hide from that and run from the fact that, you know, I'm not mad because you moved on. I'm mad because you did this. Like, if, if they're trying to say I, you know, they moved on. You know, they're telling people I moved on. I really, I'm really the one that moved on. If they really moved on, why are they still stuck on old shit? You know, it doesn't make sense to me. Even, you know, it's like what I'm getting is that this karmic is mad that, you know, 
their actions led them to karma. They ended up losing instead of gaining. And they can't get over their loss. For a lot of you guys, that loss is you. And for other you guys, it's you and money and your energy. Get one more. Yeah, they're nervous for you to have your come up. This is them watching you nervous. Like, did you receive your blessings yet? Did you receive your in, your, your new incoming energy? I'm getting incoming. Something is incoming for you. Something is arriving. A lot of you guys may not know it. That's why it's coming up as incoming here. Like, it's going to come as a surprise. They may know about it. Okay? By tapping into your future through a psychic or a seer. All right? These could be people with their own oracle cards, and they could have picked up one. You know, something. Their own oracle or tarot cards, and they could have picked up on something. But it's like, they don't want you to have this, and they're nervous. They're sitting here looking at you, you know, nervous, like, did you get it yet? And you see, the nine of wands will also mean holding on. You know, someone that's holding on and not willing to give up. This one, all right, is what they hold, is you. You know, and whatever it is that they're holding on to, that is attached to you and them, okay? They, they're they not willing to let it go. And it's because they don't want you to have what you're meant to have, your future. I'm getting, they're going to watch you have it. Because it's not being taken from you. God already placed in the order for you to receive your blessings. So it's on the way. And this karmic was rejected from receiving your blessings. Yeah, you're a sun child. The, car, the song is called Sun Child. And we got the sun. <laughs> this karmic was trying to, you know, put to an end put you to an end and you're a sun child put a sun child to an end there we go they're trying to put a sun child to um to an end all right trying to put you to an end you guys not righteous why is too busy winning here all right yeah they're watching you the queen of swords will also be someone that watches that's why you know her eyesight is like well how the way she's looking at you is like sharp okay sharp vision here she's watching you closely watching every single thing to make sure that her spells and her manipulation is working the way she wanted it's like she feel like she gotta have a hold of um of you she could even be saying i got a hold of you like no she don't you a free spirit why do this person wants to do this to you why do they want to do this to you It's sad that y'all being attacked by so many energies at once. You know, and a lot of these karmics just don't understand your life. They don't really know what you're going through. They're just assuming. And they don't know that you're going through, you know, all of this shit. And I feel like even if they didn't know, I don't feel like it would change anything. All right? But a part of me also feel like if they didn't know, you know, maybe, you know, they would stop. Maybe part of you guys think that. Maybe if they didn't know that, you know, maybe they would stop. All right? If they knew, you know, the shit that you was going through. But... I don't feel like it will. Because these karmics are desperate. <sighs> They're left out in the pole. Oh. And, you know, this karmic is watching you. This could be an air sign. Uh, this cold person is watching you to make sure that you are also left out in the cold, too. Mm. Yeah, they're doing magic on you to make sure that you are left out in the cold with them. All right, and your masculine here, and your emperor, your divine counterpart. I feel like you guys are about to receive your divine counterpart. Yeah, he's coming. All right, that's like, I'm getting for some of you guys, that's your package, your divine counterpart. And I'm getting coming in the mail. It could be, I talked about this before. But that coming in the mail could be like, you know, y'all receiving like a, a gift or a package from your person in the mail. All right. Or your person going to be traveling to you soon. Let's see. Tell me more about Too Busy Winning. She's watching you win. Yeah, she's watching your success. Your your, your, your completion. It's like she said she's going to watch. It's like her intention is to watch you, to, you know, to see her spell work come to a completion. But really, she's going to be watching you come to a full-blown completion to your success here. Yes. Yes, sis. Yes. Y'all, I'm sorry. This baby, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, I told you. She's watching to see if her magic is working. But little do she know, she's about to watch you be a magician. Watch your magic work for you because you're utilizing your magic to build the life that you want to live. All right, and I feel like changes is coming quickly. The cosmos is working in your favor right now to make swift and fast changes 
this will be a messenger all right the, the knight of swords you know he will also be equivalent to a postman because a postman deliver messages and letters okay the swords represent communication so y'all got some type of packets coming in the mail or some type of cat, um, messages coming in for you i'm getting cat scan who i do a cat scan and i'm getting a, a cat smear what a pap smear somebody's going to the damn um hospital i'm getting an er I'm hearing E E U. Is that an issue? I feel like a karmic is gonna be sad because they're gonna, you know, end up losing a relative as well. I'm seeing this. Some of y'all could have recently lost a relative here, and I feel like the karmic is gonna be experiencing the same thing. You see, this is what this karmic get for trying to steal your life. A lot of you guys, y'all could, you know, had a death in your family, lost a, you know. Had a death of a love of a loved one, and by this karmic trying to steal your energy, take what the cosmos have orchestrated for you, all right, and you know, and the energy, and take the energy that's in your life. You know, all right, I feel like them doing that orchestrated a death that happened in their family or in their life, and they don't notice. They didn't notice that this can happen. Like spell work can do this, but this is going to teach them a lesson. Tell me more. Yeah, look, he keep heading towards your fool's journey. All right, y'all should watch that um, reading I posted, and it says that spirit is going to be rewriting your story. All right, what I just explained about how the karmic is trying to, like, change your life, okay, with spell work, what I'm picking up is that reading ties in with what I'm saying here. All right, so I feel like y'all should check that out. A lot of my readings do talk about that, but it's like it's specific things that make it different. But you're heading towards your fool, your fool's journey, and you're heading towards a new beginning. Fool's new beginning, like a whole new new beginning here. Yes, a whole new four wands. This is success, and they still gonna be watching you in competition. Watching you in competition. I can't make it up. I got watching you way before I got the Page of Swords. And I can just tell by looking in this karmic eye. So looking in this karmic eyes, you can tell from their eyes that they are under spell work. Okay? Yes. And I feel like, you know, in the past, you could have picked this up about them. People around them could be picking this shit up about them. But they are being attacked by their own spells. Yeah. That's what's making them feel like they're dying from the inside out. It's because their own spells. And again, they're trying to confuse you to make you, you know, think that, you know, it's someone else when it's really them. And then I feel like another karmic is doing that same aspect, the same exact spell to make you feel like it's really someone else when it's really them. Okay. All right, hold on, baby. And I'm picking up a masculine energy in this read and a strong feminine energy. You want to open the door? Yeah, look. That y'all could have been connected with. This could have been a friend. Y'all could have been soulmates, you and your friend. Or this could have been an ex-lover. An ex-soulmate. They want to reconnect. Here, you want to go out? Yeah. You stand out from the rest. You stand out from this... You know, compared to this karmic, you stand out from, from them. All right? Period, point blank. Rather, they want to admit it or not. They don't have to. I mean, you can just tell. People can just see it. You know, they need to just stop. And they're, they're facing karma. Justice is here. I'm here. They're facing justice. Justice is in their face because you are justice. You the impress. All right? I'm getting it signed here. It's your signed contract. It's who you are, who you came here to be on this planet is what makes, you know, you so powerful. And what makes, you know, this karmic receive karma. It seems like they don't understand why, but, well, it's because of who you are. They're karmic, and they have to deal with their karmic heavy shit. The shit that they conjured up with spell work and, you know, their evil and wicked mind with the five of swords. This is th their energy. And it caused them an ending. They betrayed a lot of people in their life. Don't get it twisted. Don't get this karmic twisted. They betrayed a lot of people. They made a lot of people feel like this. Not just you. Heartbroken and sad. And they took from a lot of people in the past. Okay. 
there's some messages in my fortune card for you guys. Let me pull from here. I was trying to say concoct, you guys. <laughs> concoct. Y'all could be Libras, double Libras that have, you know, many Libra placements. And that's, that plays another part. It's like, you know, you are justice. All right, you are the legal system. It's your higher self. Your higher self is is what makes that connection or that, you know, that soul tie real. All right. And we have widower. Yeah, somebody's going to be passing away. I'm here and I told you the karmic is dying. And I'm here and someone told me. Yeah, so I'm getting like, yeah, I'm getting the spirit is like, you know, up in the spirit realm right now, communicating about the spirit. And it's like word on the street is that this karmic is going to be dying or someone around them is. And it's because they made a wish for someone to die. All right. And that's someone's journey. Someone's journey is death. It's going to, they're going to be a widower or widowed. And you're not wishing this. You're not. It's not even the spirits. This is what they try to wish for. But let's talk about your journey. You are, you are on a journey to becoming an empress. And with this justice, becoming justice here. Justice power. A judge. Okay? I'm getting... But that judge is tied in with you being a light worker. And then you judging like these souls, like these celebrity souls. A lot of you guys are judges of like these celebrities. You're judging their souls here. And I feel like a part of you judging them in the 5D is you exposing and speaking, you know, out against their wicked and also speaking the truth about these celebrities. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like you have high hope for the world. And I'm getting you, it's like you hope that you can do, you know, fulfill your purpose. Because this is your purpose. Alright? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, you exposing the truth is what's going to help shift the world. Because it's going to awaken people. Yeah, I see what's going on with Kanye, right? Yeah, and I feel like, you know... Y'all doing this great service is what's going to give you a lot of fortune. We've been talking about this. This is a part of your legacy, your destiny. You you receiving payment and gratitude by you just, you know, doing your natural life work of work, your natural healing work. And I say natural because it all comes natural um, to you. All right? And we have unexpected joy. Okay, y'all about to receive so much un unexpected joy along this journey of becoming an empress. And you, you know, becoming justice. This could be even like an advocate, okay? This is you being a judge here. I feel that. It's like you a spiritual judge, okay? I know that may not make sense right now or to everyone, all right? But I'm getting a, a judge, Valetorian. Some of you guys are like Valetorian. Valetorian, I think it's called. Okay, y'all could have, you know, been a Valetorian in, in your past life. Okay, or you guys, you know, could have graduated as that from college. All right, I'm even, you are um, a Valetorian. I hope I'm saying it right, but even spiritually, that is one of your spiritual title badges. Okay. I'm getting you guys are like meant to work with um, celebrities. All right, as well. That's tying in with, you know, you judging their souls and you, you know, speaking out the truth. Some of you guys are like for Kanye. Some of you guys may not be. That's what I just picked up. I mean, his, he's trending right now, so I'm sure y'all watching it or heard of it. I'm not really understanding the judges. Like, I get it, but I'm having a hard time explaining it. Just know I'm getting... It's all going to come to you in divine orchestration. Like, everything is going to come together. But let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I'm getting you a, um, an authoritative figure. You're a judge. You're really a judge. You're really the one to be judging souls. If this karmic is saying that they are um, meant to judge souls, you know, it's you. That could be why they out here doing what they're doing to you. Because they feel like they have a right to judge souls. Even this karmic ex feel like they're tied in with celebrities and they have like some type of power over celebrities for a lot of you guys or they meant to be in power with celebrities. But a lot of you guys, y'all was a celebrity in a past life or you work with celebrities in a past life. These karmics could even have some type of celebrity ties. All right. There's something about celebrities. 
that's significant yeah and it got these karmics thinking like maybe you are meant to be a celebrity they could have found out you know through one of you know their fortune reads they got on you that you're gonna you know become a celebrity that could be one of your goals you could have told them that or they they just know that you are on the road to becoming a, you know a successful celebrity just being a celebrity it could also just you being like a public figure because those are also considered celebrities you have different lists a b c d right you're an A-list and they're a D-list. Straight up and down. All right, they better be glad they still have some clout, I'm hearing. All right, Constancy. So you're going to see how you being faithful to God and being faithful to your work and, you know, to the collective, I'm hearing, to people. You're going to see how that brings you great blessings. So keep being a good person here. And allow these karmics to, you know, experience their misfortune. This is what they get. And it's going to help them tap into, you know, hope again. That hope is God. This is going to help them tap into God again. All right, they need to repent. All right, they're, po they're possessed. They're possessed, you know, with trying to, like, take your energy. And it's because of them trying to, you know, and I feel like they are also possessed because it's karma for them trying to tap into your energy here. It's like not, it's like, yeah, they're, like, possessed with, like, anger and shit. Y'all didn't even look at the card. They are possessed with anger. And that anger is a demon. This could be their own demons. They are possessed by their own demons. And they trying to come towards you. I can't make this shit up. They're mad and you're about to experience unexpected joy. Little and big joys. Okay? Yes. And look, they trying to steal that. They're a thief. This is all they are. A fucking spiritual thief. Alright? Remain faithful to God here, okay? This karmic is not an officer. They are not an official person. They're trying to say they have the right to lock you up and arrest you. This could be in the 5D and the 3D. No, they don't. No, they don't. And they don't have no real celebrity ties I'm getting. They, they're, what I'm picking up is that they're saying they can help you, you know, have some type of, you know, celebrity connect or help you, you know, open up the doors to, like, attract, you know, certain, like, I guess, Good connections, famous connections. But the spirit is saying they don't. It's all talk. This is someone that claims that they can, like, do magic, all right, to open up the doors to, like, for fame. And I'm getting, they was, like, trying to work with you, and you could have denied that, and they got upset. This, I don't know. I don't see how this, where this is going, but this is what I'm getting. This could be, a you know, a part of the story for y'all. All right. And I'm also getting music, a music deal for some of y'all. Y'all about to receive some money. All right, just because of this karmic being false in your life, it's like spirit about to bless you just for dealing with this karmic shit because you're royalty and you shouldn't have to deal with this. <sighs> All right, yeah, you could be a Taurus or dealing with one. That Taurus is giving me Venus energy. Venus rules um, love, beauty, money, possessions, luxury. All right, so you guys are stepping into, like, fame and luxury here. Your ancestors are doing this for you. All right, yeah, that's the change. That's a part of your change, your transformation. Is um, fame and luxury. Yeah, fame and luxury. Money and luxury, too. Yeah. And this is this karmic wants this same energy to come in for them. This energy is not arriving for the karmic. It's arriving for you. All right? It's arriving for you. That's also what's arriving with the three of wands. And they can't block this manifestation. You're still going to come up with or without them. All right? You're connected. Keep following your intuition. Your connection... What the spirits is why these doors are opening up for you as far as, like, you working with, like, big people. Celebrities and, 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 and businessmen and women. Official people. All right, their spell work, their curse got sent back. Their curse got sent back to them. All right, so they need, they need to know that spirit is saying. They need to know their curse got sent back. They are karmic. I'm hearing mimic a karmic here. Spirit is saying if you are karmic, why are they trying to mimic your energy? All right? It's because they are karmic. All right? They are karmic. Mimicking your energy. All right? You are a grid worker, light worker. 
I feel like more opportunities for you to utilize your grid worker gifts and, and any other gifts is going to be um, coming in for you. All right, like spirit is going to give you more opportunities to help people with your gifts and your powers. And I'm getting, it's like, this karmic hate this. But by them hating, you know, by them hating, it's what's bringing in that energy more for you. So my name start with an A. Yeah, you are a crystal child. I have crystal DNA. Homesick for the stars. Highly um, empathic. Deeply spiritual. Close Mother Gaia connection. You could be born in the 1980s or 90s. Yeah, you're definitely connected here. This, these karmics know that. That's that's why some of the karmics ain't fucking with you no more. Like some of the karmics that was teaming up with this karmic, that's why they ain't fucking with you no more because they know you connected here and ain't shit they can do. Is this karmic that's still haunted by the past? Yeah. Other people know you're chosen. This karmic know too. This main karmic, they know too, but they don't want to accept it. You're a sun child here. All right, this is confirmation. Two, 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 that you're chosen. And you've been received confirmation. This is karmic that needs to know and they don't want you to know. That's wicked. And, I, and you know what's crazy is, like, their spell work to make you not know what's working on them. And, and it's driving them crazy because one minute is, like, you know, they know you chose, and the next minute they forget. And then, you know, that also amplifies, you know, their reason to attack you because they're, like, you're not chosen. And then when they find out again that you are chosen, they all surprised, like, oh, it's because you're chosen. Like, their spell work is causing them and leading them to, like, deranged energy derangement i don't even know that's the word but i'm saying it all right your dragons are here and here did i already say that yeah we have draco right behind it and reptilians wow so it's like what i'm also getting is you know your dragons got your back you know rather this karmic is trying to say your dragons are really reptilians you know they're really evil they got your back And you see, this is also a sign. My cards be speaking truth. This karmic is scared to know the truth about themselves. That they are reptilians. All right, that's what I, that's one download I picked up. But also, my cards is, is speaking the truth. We have dragons in front. And then we have the Draco second and the reps third. My cards is exposing that dragons are always first. Dracos came from the dragons. However the, dra the Dracos are, have nothing to do with the dragons. Okay? However the reptilians are, have nothing to do with the dragons. Okay, because the dragons are very ancient, and a lot of ascended masters work with dragons, and they all have vibrational dracos and reptilians. That is not for the low vibrationals. Fuck shit. The low vibrational ones. Fuck shit. All right, this karmic, just understand if they're trying to like come for you because you know about dragons and reptilians, and they don't. Only way they know is by watching you and other people. Just know they don't know shit. And you should not be, you know, offended or mad because they get mad at you, all right? Because you speaking the truth and they don't know the truth. You should not get mad about that. You shouldn't even get mad because they're mad. Just ignore them. Okay, y'all? But I love y'all so much. Namaste.